Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Today we are going to do things just a tidbit different. So I'm trying out something new. Um, definitely give me a thumbs up if you guys like this new segment. So I am going to be calling this story time. <laughs> Why story time, you might ask? Well, I'll just say that I have lots of conversations with different people all the time regarding relationships. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so this is like one of my things that I know I should be doing because I love it. Anyway, so story time. Today's particular story is about a young brother that I was talking to regarding a female that he was dealing with and how she became crazy, right? <laughs> and I know that this is something that men say all the time, that the women are becoming crazy and um, they usually don't have a clue as to why the woman became crazy with them. So um, the story is... He basically does not have his stuff together. And um, because he does not have his stuff together, as in the job that he wants or the money that he's making, the place that he wants to live, just like life in general together, um, his proposition to her was him being very open and honest. I have to give it to him. Him being very open and honest and letting her know that he is not in a position to get into a relationship. And so the proposition was... Because I can't give you anything and I'm not there, I don't want a relationship per se. Let's be friends with benefits. Yeah, I'm quiet because I'll... Let me reel it in. This ain't my story. <laughs> so, <laughs> he gives her this proposition and she claims that she is just so... I'm not ready for a relationship myself. Mistake number one. I'm not really. I'm not ready for a relationship myself, and um, I just want to hang out. Friends with benefits is cool. We could do whatever, um, but no titles involved. I'm fine with that. Okay. So weeks, months going on. They hanging out all the time. He actually has spent the night at her place several times, and um, he's basically taking her out um, on dates. Actually, on dates nonetheless. But again, they're not dates because they're just friends or just kicking it buddies or just sex partners whatever title you want to put in there so um as time goes on he is actually checking in with her like hey are we still good because i already told you where i'm at and um you know the relationship thing at this point in my life is just a no-go for me Again, she continuously saying, yeah, 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 yeah. But he's noticing different things that she's doing. But again, every time he asks her, she's like, no, no, we were good. We're, we're good where we're at. And so one of the things that I remember him mentioning was um, they were um, out in a club together. And on the course of coming back from the club, like the club went fine. It was on the ride back. She was driving. He was in the passenger seat. And... Um, the guy looks rather, rather handsome, so uh, <laughs> other females was on the other end of this text message. And it doesn't matter who he's texting. The point of the story is she started asking, who are you on the phone with? Like, who are you texting at this time of hour or whatever? And he basically was like, why is it any of your business? So, of course, they go back and forth and things are getting heated. And she's just like, well, I'm always around you. We're always together. And now you always on your phone. You always texting. It's always some type of a woman on the other end of the, on the other end of the phone. So he's kind of like, and the reason why he's like that, because like I said, in the course of the relationship, or excuse me, in the course of them hanging out and being friends with benefits, he would check in with her periodically to see, hey, you still good? We still good? Like, there's no strings attached with this, but we are hanging out where you're, you're cool people. I like being in your company, but that relationship thing is just not happening. Long story short, <laughs> this is where things kind of go downhill for her and her playing herself with saying that she's fine with where things are going because she shows up at his mama's house <laughs> to tell on him with the parents. And so the parents basically sit her down like, hey, what was y'all agreement? And so they, she tells them the agreement. And so she was like, well, am I wrong for feeling like this? And the dad, <laughs> true to man fashion, is like, uh, yeah, you're wrong for that. Because y'all established a friends with benefits relationship. If that's not something that you wanted, you should have never agreed to that. So 
my question to you guys is, was she wrong for that? Was she wrong for trying to go to the parents' house and basically tell on him to say, hey, I'm such a great woman. How come he can't see it? We're hanging out. We're doing X, Y, and Z. Was she wrong for asking him who was on the other end of the text message? Was he wrong for saying, let's be friends with benefits? Was he wrong for checking in to say, hey, you know, are we still good with this arrangement? What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section below. Now, my own personal opinion, my own personal opinion about this situation as I kind of threw in my two cents as I was telling the story is this is a no-go situation. For any woman out there that is looking for a full-time relationship, even if you don't think you are, especially when you're hanging around each other and you guys are doing things kind of like couples do, like hanging out and um, going on, on, on out on dates, even though they're not described as dates. Like we're always together. You're always at my place. I'm always at your place. I call you to say, hey, let's go see this movie. I call you to say, hey, let's go see this concert. Like you're doing all of these couple type things but you don't have title. Like his proposition was friends with benefits. She claimed she was okay with that, but clearly she was not. So anyway, uh, this is just not something that I recommend any woman putting yourself in this situation. And one of the top reasons for that is because women have a tendency to catch feelings so much faster than a man. That's number one. Number two, whatever category you allow this man to put you in is the category you have a tendency to stay in so she decided that she wanted to move things forward in a relationship but the, but she tried to do it on the sneak side she tried to slide in from the back and do it and um the whole time he was like hey i ain't ready for this thing i ain't ready for this thing so i'm checking in with you to make sure you're good so she played herself is my opinion. She played herself because in typical woman fashion, she tried to sneak in through the back door, try to go along with the flow. I'm going to let him see how good I am. He's going to change his mind eventually. And then uh, the third thing that she failed at is she caught feelings. Now, like I said before, women have a tendency to catch feelings a lot faster than men. And we do because we are born nurturers. Anyway, Give me you guys' opinion. As I mentioned earlier in the video, if you like story time, make sure you give me thumbs up so I continue on with this newest segment in my relationship. I love me, me, me channel. I thank you guys for watching and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Two fingers salute.